Changing your perspective view in Cinema 4D is something that you may want or need to do at times, and today we're going to talk about it. Alright, let's go ahead and get right to it. Cinema 4D Perspective Viewport Focal Lens. Now, we can go ahead and see our scene here. We can see that we get a little bit wide as we start to get in. Our default focal length for the perspective viewport is 36 millimeters, which actually isn't so bad. Now, if we do want to change that, we'll talk about the reasons why. Let's go ahead into our menu here, into our viewport menu. We'll go to options and then configure. Now in the configure here, you'll see that under view, we have our linked camera dropdown. So go ahead and twirl that down a moment. And we have our focal length. So it's currently set to 36 millimeters. We can go ahead and change that. That's one way to get to it. Now we can go ahead here and press shift V, the keyboard shortcut to get to the same menu in our attribute manager. Go ahead and change your focal length. Now, one way that I actually like to explore different focal lengths is by holding the two key and then right clicking and dragging. So dragging to the right is going to increase our focal length as we can see in the attribute manager and then dragging left will decrease it. Now, the cool part about this is that you can explore these focal lengths without having to worry about a camera in the scene. Now, let's go ahead and set this back to 36 millimeters. Now, if we go ahead and create a camera object, we can go ahead and activate that camera and press two on our keyboard, right click and drag, and we'll see that we're also able to change the focal length of that camera. So it works. This is one way that I really enjoy exploring different focal lengths for different products. Really like to make sure that the compression is working the way that I would want it to. All right, now that wraps up this quick tip on how to change your viewport focal length in Cinema 4D. It's something that I actually do quite often. Um, usually more often than not, it's actually using that to right click and drag with the camera object. And that's just to explore focal lengths, figure out what I want my composition to look like. And then I begin building there. Now, for products, this is a really good way to explore focal lengths to make sure that that compression isn't really killing your object or killing your product or even a lack of if you're using a super wide angle, you don't have any of that weird distortion. And sometimes you may not actually know exactly what focal length you want to use. So instead of grabbing another lens out of the bag and pulling out another prime, it's very easy to go ahead and just press two, right click and drag, figure out exactly what that focal length is going to need to be. And then you can get rolling from there. So that's going to end the video for today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe subscribe, never stop learning, and I will see you guys in the next video.